Hello mga enthusiast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ito ay isang request the video. So meron ulit nag-PM sa akin. Sabi niya, ma, baka pwede mo namang gawa nito ng video. And syempre, ano ba naman ako para hindi pagbigyan ang request niya. Sana lang kung napapanood niya na to. Eh, tulungan niya kung makahanap pa ng maraming subscribers at ikalat pa tong channel na to sa iba pa niyang mga classmates, kapitbahay, kamag-anak, para naman lalo pang marami ang matulungan natin sa mat. Ha? Alam ko, ila, alam ko, alam mo na ikaw yun. See? <laughs> And sana yung mga classmates mo rin, alam ko mapapanood din ito. Please help ma'am ha, to have more subscribers. Hindi naman para magkaroon lang ako ng maraming subscribers, kundi para marami na rin ang matulungan natin when it comes to topics involving mathematics. Okay? So, wag na nating patagalin pa to. Simulan na natin. Okay? Our topic today is about determining if the given value of x is a solution of the given quadratic inequality. So, ang ang meron tayo ngayon, meron tayong given inequality, tapos meron tayong given x, we have to identify. Aalamin ba, aalamin ba natin? Aalamin natin kung yung x na ibinigay ay solution nung binigay nating quadratic inequality. Now, paano natin siya gagawin? Simpleng simple lang, ha? Kaya ito very short video lang, pero sana tapusin nyo, ha? Okay, suppose number 1, we have here x squared minus 7x minus 8. So, ito daw is less than 0. Now, we have to check if this negative 1 is a solution of this one. How? By substituting this one. Isa substitute natin dito sa mga x kasi ang sinasabi niya, ang x ako ay negative 1. So, ito dapat maging negative 1. So, we will have here negative 1 squared minus 7 times negative 1 minus 8. Dapat daw, para maging solution siya ang makuha natin, less than 0. Okay, what is negative 1 squared? Correct, 1. Minus, minus, o, oh, 7 times negative 1. Negative 7. Okay, minus 8. Dapat daw yan less than k0. So, since this is minus, mga anak, kung mapapanood nyo yung video ko about subtraction of integers, ang pinagagawa ko kasi sa kanila ay kcc. What we are doing here is keep, copy, and then change, and then change. So, magiging 1 plus 7, we have 8. Now, 8 minus 8, kasi copy lang to, less than 0. Now, what is 8 minus 8? 0. Now, yung 0 ba less than k0? No, this is false, di ba? Hindi ito totoo. Which means that, therefore, x equals to negative 1 is not a solution. Hindi siya solution. Kasi nung tinray natin, hindi true lumabas ang false. Okay? Next number, number 2. x squared plus x minus 6 Greater than negative 3. So, let's check if 3 is a solution of this one. Okay? So, ito is a substitute natin. So, we have here 3 squared plus 3 minus 6 is greater than negative 3. So, 3 times 3 is 9 plus 3 minus 6. Dapat daw yan greater than negative 3. Okay, 9 plus 3. Excuse me, 12, di ba? Minus 6. Yan ba ay greater than negative 3? O 12 minus 6. This is, how many? Okay, 6. Is 6 greater than negative 3? Yes, so this is true. When this is true, therefore, x equals 3 is a solution. Of x squared plus x minus 6 greater than negative 3. So, ikayo na lang magdugtong kung gusto nyong complete sentence. Okay? Now, for number 3, we have x squared minus 6x plus 2 greater than or equal to 0. We have to check if x equals 2 is a solution of this one. So, ito ay magiging 2 squared minus 6 times 2 plus 2. Is that greater or equal to 0? So, 2 times 2, 4. 
minus 6 times 2, that's 12 plus 2. Is that greater than or equal to 0? So, my, uh, sorry, 4 minus 12, we have 8 or negative 8 plus 2. Is that greater than 0? Negative 8 plus 2. That is negative, correct, 6. Is negative 6 greater than or equal to 0? Greater than or equal to 0 by negative 6? Hindi. So, this is a false. Okay, which means that, therefore, x is equal to is not a solution. Okay? Oh, for our last given, we have x squared minus 5 greater than 0. Okay, where x is equal to negative 3. Let's try kung solution si negative 3. We will have here negative 3 squared minus 5. That should be greater than 0 para maging solution siya. So, negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 minus 5. Is that greater than 0? 9 minus 5. 4. Is 4 greater than 0? Yes. So, this is true. Which means, x equals to negative 3. Therefore, is a solution of x squared minus 5 greater than 0. Ayan, o, di ba Ang dali. Ngayon, kung nadalian ka sa discussion na ito, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like button at mag-comment ha. Please mag-comment at syempre, share nyo na rin ang video na ito. At kung bago ka pa lang sa ating YouTube channel, please huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!